In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite five wide defense. So what do you want to run against any kind of spread out five wide style of attack? This video is for you. If you want to get my entire four, six defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We've got three, 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 three cub dollar nickel over big nickel over G. All that stuff is in the Patreon. You get everything for just 10 bucks by becoming a Patreon member. If you're not a Patreon member and you want to be one, uh, like I said, make sure you click the link in the description and uh, let's get into this. I want to talk about some five wide so uh five wide to me is actually fairly um you want to try to simplify everything as much as you possibly can this year's game um because it does require a lot of adjustments regardless of what you're uh facing this year it's just there's a lot of adjustments that you need to make uh, to play really good defense with this game so uh how do we defend five wide in a simple format well i'm glad that you asked so uh what i like to do against five wide is essentially we want to send four uh, out of dollar and and then we're going to utilize some specific coverage adjustments that is going to make it more difficult for five wide to consistently beat us. Uh, so what I like to do with this is I'm going to go in, I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I like baseline dollar against five wide. Okay. I really like baseline dollar against five wide. And then uh, we're going to put our zone coverage on match. Now from a actual, like who goes where um, you want your safeties ideally to have inside shade um, so that you can cross band them. And then ideally both of these guys in the middle would have deep route knockout. That's very helpful. And then your slot corners, you're going to be blitzing at least one of them, if not both of them. So they mainly just need pick artists. All right. So how do I set up this defense? Well, literally all we're going to do, if you watch real quick, I'm going to press. I want you to watch where the defenders go. So you see when I press, they just basically press for the safety to stay back off. If I show blitz, watch what happens. You're going to notice here that it widens out this slot corner. Uh, and then this guy over here kind of stays where he was anyway. If I press, he's going to be more inside. So what I like to do is I like to base on a press because it's going to, or I like to basically just come out and press because it's going to give me that uh, best pre-step alignment for pressure. And then I'll show you real quick the blitz, then we'll talk about coverage adjustments. So um, all we're going to do is we're just going to drop the guy on the right and do any coverage we want. So we're just going to send three or four, and you're going to see we're going to come off the edge every single time. Very consistent edge pressure out of this. Um, all You don't even have to press. Literally, you could just run the defense just like this, and you will get pressure. But notice that it's slightly slower than if we run a baseline press. So if I baseline and press... Another thing that you can do real quick is if you wanted to contain and you wanted to bring this guy off of the edge, um, you can typically get some type of loop pressure, but because there's no running back to block, I really don't think loop pressure is necessary against five wide. What I like to just tell people is you just want to blitz opposite of the tight end side. So in this example, the tight end is to the right. So we're just going to blitz off a little left. Okay. Now from a coverage perspective, what do I like to do in terms of how do I like to cover this formation? Um, basically I want to user the trip side. The main reason is because the trip side is actually the weakest side of this formation. Um, some formations might differ, but essentially against five wide, you have to man up the slots. Like I really think that is one of the most important things. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to man up our inside shades on the key players. So in this example, we're going to man up this left side inside shade onto the square receiver or the guy backed off in the stack. We're going to man up our linebacker that has deep route KO on the front side player in the stack. And then we're going to take the back side and we're going to man up our, our guys essentially like this. We're going to take our inside shade, man him up on the slot. Uh, and then really what I like to do is put either a curl flat or a vertical hook and an outside third. Now, you don't have to do it just like that. You can run man coverage across the board. It's not a bad thing. Um, so like, for example, if I wanted to do uh, this right here, this is a pretty good adjustment sequence as well. Um, I like off squad or cloud flat on that stack side. I just like have that extra zone. There's really nothing on the right side that can kill you um, because the pressure is good. You gotta understand the pressure is coming in quick. So if you think about it, like, these seam routes is really the only thing that can kill us. And what's the route that can kill us? It's really either either one of the two slot receivers on the right. Either the middle trips receiver or the inside trips receiver can kill us. So those guys are cross made, and we have a third over there in case they run a C route or anything. And as you can see, this just puts fade out in an absolute cage. And it's really hard uh, to beat this defense consistently. And again, all we're doing is we're pressing, and then we're just manning up um, 
we're manning up as we want to. Now, if you wanted to do it like this, where you man up the linebacker on the outside or on the backside stack player, you man up the safety on the front side stack player, and then on the right side, you did something like, let's see here, did something like uh, this. Ideally, you want to man that slot corner back up on the tight end. I think that's the best. And then uh, you want to take the safety man up on the, the middle trips guy. And then typically an outside third, outside quarter, something like that is really helpful. I'll show you one other cool trick that you can do with match coverage real quick against this type of formation. So against this type of formation, if they're running a lot of like vertical type routes, another thing you can do is we can take this right side safety um, and we could put him... So we could basically kind of roll the coverage a little bit of a different way. So what that would look like practically um, is we would want to use her, this linebacker right here. And essentially, we would take our backside safety and put him into a inside quarter. We take our outside corner on the right, put him into an outside quarter. And then we take that safety and man him up on the number two receiver. So those match quarters will match three and one, the tight end on the right that's not manned up and the outside receiver that's not manned up. And then really just take that backside guy and you can put him in whatever you want. Um, you could either blitz him and you could send it off of the, the three wide receiver side or you could drop him in a flat just to kind of help with some extra protection. And then now on the left side of the screen, what we would want to do there is we would want to man the stack player up and then really I would want to probably have like a third and do something like this. This is pretty decent defense. And if you watch, these quarters will basically match um, those three receivers to the right. So those are two ways to do it. If you wanted a little bit simpler of an adjustment sequence, uh, really something as simple as putting rolling the coverage from the trip side to the twin side. So putting a third to the right side corner, putting a middle third to the right side safety. And then on the left side, I would still really recommend the man coverage concept. Um, and I would probably put like a seam flat or curl flat to the right. So it looks something like this. And then maybe this vertical hook guy is manned up on the stack receiver because he's the player that they oftentimes want to go to in this formation. So it's something like this. And now you see here that this route is kind of open, but the KO will still knock it out. So these are some of my best practices for defending five white sets in Madden 23. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, make sure you become a Patreon member today. It's only $10 to do so. You can sign up by heading down to the description and going and clicking the link down below.